Hi guys, this is Fana, and thank you so much for watching. Today I am doing a sticker design of an inside joke that Prism Kid and I have. Uh, I'm trying to remember how exactly this joke or what he calls me got started, but what he calls me is Pillow Queen, and in return I call Kid Dork Peasant. So together we're Pillow Queen and Dork Peasant, and I believe, I'm going to try to remember the story, I believe it all started off with, we would cuddle and blankets, and whenever one of us needed comforted, we'd be like, come inside the pillow fort. And there actually was a group chat for a little while called the pillow fort, where you can be safe and you can be comforted and have fun and be yourself and be loved. And that turned into us joking around and kind of not fighting in the group chat. And I said that I'm like king of the castle. And then, of course, he's like, no, you can be queen of the castle or the fort. And it just got shortened into pillow queen. And <laughs> kid, I'm very sorry. That might be the completely wrong retelling of the story, so I apologize. But this has been my nickname from him for two years, maybe? Maybe it's only been one year. I'm I forget how long I've actually been friends with him. <laughs> oh, it feels like forever. But anyway, I decided that it would be fun to do a sticker design. And I really love how the crown turned out. I must say, I, I actually saved the crown separately on a different file so that if I want to, I can use it later on. And I actually used Psy for sketching and for doing like the finished product. And then I'm using uh, Microsoft Paint for the text because Psy does not have a text option. I really wish it did. But... Mostly what I'm doing right here is figuring out all the different kinds of placements. And what I end up doing, and actually what a lot of this video is, is me figuring out different placings and shapes. And I end up using... Uh, I'm waiting for the numbers to come up. I think three and four, because I actually sent a screenshot to a bunch of my friends and I numbered all these different little sketches. I was like, alright, which ones are the best ones? And three and four won. I believe three turned into a circle, while four turned into a rectangle, like a bumper sticker almost. Um, but they're each pretty small. The bumper sticker type one is only about four inches long, and the circle is two inches. So I want to keep them relatively small. Purple is my favorite color. And even though not technically lavender, I still really like how this turned out because, you know, I'm fluffy and the pillow needs to be fluffy. And it just, I wanted it to be lineless art because I felt like as a sticker it needed to have a very simple, elegant, but sweet design. And I really like how the ruffles turned out. It looks really soft and comfy and... I really enjoyed working on this piece. I know a lot of this speed paint is very technical type stuff. It's a lot of me sketching and fiddling with different designs, but I thought it would be kind of cool for you guys to see not only how I make stickers, like I did for um, my This Light Must Go Out chibi stickers, but also just kind of my brainstorming. This isn't really kind of a character design, but let's call it that. It's a character design process. And I'm not really making these to mass produce. I'm making it just for me. And I'm sending a couple stickers to, of course, Kid for Christmas. But also, for my personal use, I, I am the Pillow Queen. And I need to put it places. I enjoy making stickers. They're fun. And they're not the highest quality. But it's something that I enjoy, and I mean, it works for me. I mean, if you're interested in maybe someday having a sticker like this, let me know. I mean, contact me either on Tumblr or DeviantArt, and we can see how it goes. 
I print out my stickers using Avery white sticker paper, which I get off of Amazon. And then I put some laminate over top of it. Uh, I think it's called laminate. Not quite sure. I probably should have looked that up. But um, you can get it from Staples. It's relatively cheap, and I keep forgetting that I have it. And buying new rolls. So I have like three semi-used rolls. Um, need to be a little bit more organized. And then I just cut it out. When I made the stickers, I made it so that each one had a little bit of a rim around it so I could use a guideline because I don't have a nice hole punch like scrapbookers would use. I made one or two sheets of these stickers to send out as presents. So you know who you are if you're going to get it. But this is the finished product. I really hope that you like this video, and I now have a new sticker for my laptop. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of stickers on my laptop, we're not going to talk about that too much. But, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my other social media in the description below. I hope you have a phenomenal day, and keep being extraordinary.